Hi, I'm glad you could stop for a moment and just rest in the presence of God. I thought we would use Psalm 10 verse 14 as our focus for today. But you do see, indeed you note trouble and grief, that you may take it into your hands. The helpless commit themselves to you. You have been the helper of the orphan. So I invite you to close your eyes. To breathe in deeply and release your breath. And I want you to just sit with those words. You take the trouble and grief into your hands. Take it into your hands. You take the trouble and grief. You may take it into your hands. Take it into your hands. Holy One, as we come to you today, As we stop here and rest with you, we know that you're present with us no matter what's going on in our lives. And when it feels like we're just surrounded by all that is horrible, when it just feels like we're going through stuff that is just too much to bear, when we're sad and grieving, we're reminded that you take it into your hands. You take us into your hands. You hold us close and strengthen us. So God, we wanna to stop today and list those troubles to you those places where we need you to take it into your hands. I want you to be with those young people who are planning for and gathering in Scotland where the world leaders are supposed to hammer out a way to save this planet. And yet those young people are grieving and angry and restless because they don't know how to change the minds and hearts of those who have power because it means changing the way they have always lived. So take them into your hands. Take those young people and surround them. Hold them. Encourage them. Comfort them. Holy One, we lift up to you our troubles. We lift up those places where people are hurting and in pain, where there are people who are sick and troubled. We hear story day after day after day of people who are sick and yet they didn't have to be. you take even them into your hands. God, as we look around, we hear so many troubled stories. We hear the people of Northern Ethiopia who are starving. We hear of the indigenous people of this nation who are challenging oil companies to stop their pipelines that are running through sacred space, that are running through their land, who have gone to Washington and are challenging 
the understanding that it's okay to bring such dirty tar sands through their sacred space, through their waters where they grow food, through their waters where they grow life. Remind us that you take them into your hands. Only when there are other places and troubles and grief that you know. So we ask you to be with those, be with those people who are struggling this day, where the grief is overwhelming them, where the troubles keep coming one after the other, where the helpless feel like there's no place to turn. God, take us into your hands. Take us into your hands. Amen.